The virtual set maker application on your TVS1000 allows you to make your own sets and edit them. Using your own photos and graphics to make sets is easy to do in the TVS1000's virtual set maker. Let's get started and launch our TVS1000 software. You can choose the virtual set maker, choose your resolution, and start. You default to a new set, so you have to start from scratch. To start, under layers on the right side, click on the plus button. Here, you can start by adding your studio image. This will be your background image for your virtual set. Your talent, screen, and logos will all be placed on top of this layer. You can customize the file directory, but it's best to make a workflow that you're familiar with. Here, we're gonna upload an image that I took inside of a surf shop in Huntington Beach. After you import your studio image, you can import your talent image. You can customize your talent image by uploading your own. To import your own talent image, go to the upper left on the virtual set maker and select configuration, then talent type, and scroll down to customize. Here you can go through the directory and choose your talent. The talent image must be formatted 16 by 9 or else it will be squeezed to meet 16 by 9 aspect ratio. You can adjust your talent on the X, Y, and Z axis, but it's going to distort your image, so it's best to alter it only slightly. You can resize and adjust the position of your talent. When you're all set, it's ready to move on to the next step. Next, we'll be loading the screen or your B media. The screen will start full screen, so you must make it smaller. Here I am going to replace an actual TV screen on the real life location with our virtual screen. This is going to make it a little more believable that it actually fits into the environment. Sizing it just right can be tricky, but when you get it right, it's gonna look great. Next, we can import a logo. I've chosen to import this generic surf logo. It starts off big, so I'm gonna make it small. And I decided that the right side of my frame here on my virtual set is pretty empty. It's designed as another place that talent can go, but since I don't have any talent there, I'm gonna go ahead and put a logo. As you can see, I am adjusting the logo to fit the angle of the floor. Now I can only have one studio image, one talent image, and one screen image. However, I can have multiple logos. The logos can also just be simple still images, graphics, pictures. When you're ready, go to save as and save your set. When I finish sets, I always load them to make sure that everything came out okay. And while we're at it, I'll make one last alteration to my set to help make it more believable. I'm going to make the logo a more believable part of the set by placing it underneath our talent. To do this, you move the talent up on the layer tab by pressing on the up button. And the talent should always be the top layer and the studio image as the bottom layer. Here, the talent is keyed on top. The set looks great. I can go ahead and save it. And the next step is to open it up in the production live application.